here let us understand uh, this exercise which is pretty important exercise this is exercise number five the first problem is that the ship displacement is given which is uh, 16,000 ton and the TPC is also given which is 20 is floating in salt water at a draft of 8 meter so draft is given which is 8 meter well we can assume the ship is floating at even keel draft even keel draft find her draft in fresh water we need to find what will be the draft in fresh water so let's assume that this is the vessel and she is floating at even keel draft of 8 meter in salt water now we need to work out what will be the draft in fresh water so what happens in fresh water well the fresh water is lighter than salt water the ship will sink and the draft will increase by some amount and that amount is nothing but fresh water allowance so we need to calculate what is the fresh water allowance we know the formula that the fresh water allowance is displacement by 4 into TPC where displacement is given in millimeter sorry the fresh, fresh water allowance is given in millimeter the displacement is given in tons and the TPC tons per centimeter and we can easily work out that 16,000 divided by 4 into TPC which is 20 so let's see what is the result this cancels this is 8 and 4 to the 8 and 8 to the 200 so we get 200 mm or in centimeter or meter it is going to be 0 0.2 meter so the draft will increase by this amount so the draft in fresh water will be 8 plus 0 0.2 or simply 8.2 meter So this is the problem number two in which a ship goes from water of RD 1.008 so RD 1.008 to salt water so vessel goes from RD 1.008 to salt water which is 1.025 relative density of salt water is 1.025 find the change in draft if her fresh water allowance is 180 mm well state whether it would sink or rise we need to find whether the vessel will sink or whether the vessel will rise we need to find that also so we know that the relationship between dock water allowance and fresh water allowance is given by dock water allowance is equal to change in rd change in rd and we can take the change in RD in multiple of uh, 1000 divided by 25 multiplied by fresh water allowance. So change in RD is 1025 to 1008 divided by 25. Well, this 25 comes from 1.025 minus 1, which is 0 0.025 and if we multiply by 1000 we get this value 25 so it is just for sake of simplicity instead of using 1.025 or 1.008 I am using 1025 minus 1008 divided by 25 and now this is the fresh water allowance which is 180 let us solve this problem well 25 minus 8 is equal to 17 so this is 17 multiplied by 180 divided by 25 
we get 122.4 is 122.4 millimeter and I can convert it into a centimeter also so in centimeter it is will be 12.24 centimeter this is the change in a draft so dock water allowance is nothing but change in draft so we know that the if the vessel is in dock water of id 1.008 and then she goes in salt water which is much heavier than dock water what happens well the salt water is heavier the ship is going to rise ship will arise here so ship will rise and by how much amount is this 12.24 centimeter now here a vessel goes from water of rd 1.010 so rd 1.010 and it goes to fresh water we know the fresh water relative density is 1 we can write like this so we need to find if our fresh water allowance is 160 well fresh water allowance is 160 mm we need to find whether she would sink or rise whether she would sink or rise and by how much amount well change in draft change in draft can be found by change in rd change in rd that is change in relative densities or densities divided by 0 0.025 multiplied by fresh water allowance so here the vessel goes from rd 1.010 to fresh water so the density change is going to be 1.010 minus 1 divided by 0 0.025 multiplied by 160 so it's pretty useful to multiply both side by 1000 like here 1000 and this side also by 1000 so it simply tells me that it is 100 so it is 10 divided by 25 multiplied by 160 so let's work out now so 10 multiplied by 160 divided by 25 I get 64 mm or simply let me just put it here 6.4 centimeter and if you see carefully 6.4 centimeter vessel was in dark water which is much heavier than fresh water the vessel is going to sink and the sinkage amount is 6.4 centimeter now let's do this problem number four which says that the a ship of fresh water allowance 175 mm let me just put it fresh water allowance allowance 175 mm goes from water of rd 1.006 1.006 to the water of rd 1.018 so from this dock water that is dock water 1 it goes to dock water 2 find the amount of sinkage or rise find the amount of sinkage or rise well we can find this change in draft change in draft is equal to change in rd divided by 0 0.025 multiplied by fresh water allowance so here change in rd is 1.006 minus that is the difference actually 1.018 
divided by 25 into 175 well let me just make it 0 0.025 well I can multiply this by 1000 here and we can multiply by 1000 this side also so we get 6 minus 18 that is 1006 1006 minus 1018 that means we get 12 divided by 25 multiplied by 175 so all we need to do is to work this all 12 multiplied by 175 divided by 25 we get 84 millimeter so we can convert into centimeter also 8.4 centimeter or in meter also we can convert now the vessel goes from dock water which was 1.006 to 1.018 and this is much denser in comparison to this so this one is much dense much denser much dense so if it is dense the vessel is going to rise and the amount will be 8.4 centimeter problem number five a ship's stability data book gives her load displacement to be 18,000 ton so displacement load displacement or we can say summer displacement is 18,000 ton TPC is given which is 25 so TPC is 25 if she is now loading in dock water of ID 1.018 so the dock water ID is 1.018 by how much may her load line be immersed we can immerse by how much so that she would not be overloaded by how much we can immerse so that you are not overloaded so that the vessel is not overloaded so overloading this rule will be applicable when the vessel is in ocean out at sea and in salt water floating up to that load line so vessel is here let me just mark here and suppose this is the load line mark and vessel is floating in dock water of ID 1.018 well I can submerge this by some amount so that when the vessel goes in salt water and the salt water is uh, much heavier much denser than dock water the vessel will rise and this rise so that it touches here when the vessel goes to salt water so let us find out what is the change in draft so change in draft will be dock water density and salt water density 1.025 minus 1018 divided by 25 multiplied by fresh water allowance well let us work out the fresh water allowance by given data which is like this fresh water allowance will be displacement by 4 into TPC so displacement is 18,000 ton divided by 4 into 25 well 25 and 4 is uh, 100 and this to cancel we get 180 mm so I can write change in draft 25 minus 18 let me just go this way 25 minus 18 simply 7 divided by 25 multiplied by 180 so multiplied by 180 divided by 25 I get 50 Point four mm or in centimeter 5.04 centimeter 
so what I can do here I can submerge I can load up to this level up to this level so that when she goes in salt water vessel will rise and in salt water it touches this load line mark so this is the change in draft